Welcome back to our November Craft Along. My name is Nancy Valdivia, librarian for Palm Springs Public Library. And this month's craft is an acorn pocket apron. Perfect for the Thanksgiving holiday coming up. In your kit available on Tuesday, November 2nd, are a few items that you're going to need. So, of course, you're going to need your apron, so you have your apron. Patterns for the acorn pockets. You have two, just in case you goof. One of the pattern templates has the um, color of felt that you need for each particular part of the acorn. So the brown is for the top portion of the acorn, and the red is for the bottom portion of the body of the acorn, and the orange is for the center or the middle portion of the body of the acorn, and you need two of each. So pay attention throughout the video how you get two pieces out of all the felt that's gonna be in your kit and you can possibly, if you do it right, make more acorn pockets. Um, also, you're going to need some glue and what we have inside your kit is an original tacky glue product by Aleens. Aleens Original Tacky Glue. Uh, you'll also need a good pair of scissors. Of course, that's not included in your kit. Um, if you have a grown-up, a tween, or a teenager to help you with this project, that would be excellent because it does involve some cutting. And um, also, just a little tip, um, you can use stick pins to help you keep um, the, the pattern on top of the fabric while you cut. But that's up to you if you want to do that or the grown-up in your life wants to do that for you. Um, that I recommend that. Okay, and uh, find your aprons and let's, let's get crafting. So. November's Craft Along Acorn Pocket Apron. Let's begin. So um, I have my brown felt here and quickly cut out this pattern. This is the one that has the colors on the pattern, brown felt and how many pieces you need to cut out. So this requires two of each, so I'm going to fold this so that I can get two pieces each for each pattern. And if needed, you can use a pin to attach the pattern to the fabric. And I don't you don't have to use a pin, but you know, it, it makes it easier to keep the fabric together. Um, normal stick pin is fine. So 
Okay, so I'm gonna cut out my, see how I have that there? So now I can just cut that out. And if you're gonna make more than one, use this wisely. And it's best if you work with some fabric scissors, but fabric cutting scissors. I'm just gonna do it freestyle because these aren't the best scissors in the world for cutting fabric. Okay, the top, the middle, and the bottom. Bring this back out. So I'm going to be a little frugal and use the most I can of this felt. So I might want to use, make some more pockets. Now I can take the pin out and cut around it. That's just me. But for a child, it'd be much easier if they kept the pin in, but that can be dangerous too. So whatever you're comfortable doing. Okay, so we have the top portion cut out. And we'll, we'll layer these and you can you'll you'll see later what I mean by that. And then I have the center part of the acorn body here. It's the orange felt. It's right here. Again, you need two pieces and it tells you you need two. See all these were on two each. So I folded this over. Instead of all the way folded in the center, I've just folded it here just a little bit. And I'm going to take my stick pin again, put it in just to hold it together while I cut out this felt that I want. I just want a little piece. I don't want the whole thing. So I'll cut my little square out. And see how I have two together with the stick pin. And then I like to Take the stick bin in, out and cut. That's what I'll do. And I can't stress enough how much it's better to have fabric scissors for this particular project. But sometimes we make do with what we have, right? Right. Okay. So here I have, you know, one, two, you know, two acorn shapes. And then I have 
Oh no, it's always good too. Good tip. <laughs> always have a trash can nearby. <laughs> so cleanup is one, two, three, swift. All right, so now I have my last piece, which is the larger part of acorn body. And it's red. It's a beautiful red too. Okay. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it over like so. This is a little bit larger. Put that felt piece down, measure it a little bit here. Pretty close. Pretty close. I'll just go ahead and do it that way then. Get my little pin. Remember, I need two pieces of each. And my pattern. Okay, so I need two, that's why I fold it over. Okay, and cut away. Okay, there's that. Okay, this is the part where I'm going to put together the actual acorn pockets first before they're applied to the apron. And Remember, I have two. And this is also where the tacky glue is taken out of the uh, kit. Just to show you, it's a very thick consistency, which works really well on fabric. And um, you'll need to snip off the top here to use the um, squeeze bottle motion, but um, Sometimes it still gets clogged whether you snip it or not, so just an FYI. Sometimes I just like to put it on a plate and use a brush. But I just snip the tip right off. See? Just snip it right off. Okay, so now I'm going to put the acorn together. Now this will take time to set, become permanent. So if you if you goof, it's okay. You can just take it back up and reapply. You put the wrong piece in the wrong spot. No worries. Take it apart. Put it back. And just have some fun. Okay, well, this one's all glued down, and it looks really cute, and see, then I'll put some more glue here once I apply it to the apron. So I've got one down, now I'll do number two. If you do what I'm doing here, just flip it all over, it makes it easier glue it down. And like I said, I can, put, I can put a line just right down the middle, flip it over, and glue it down. Pinch it together. I can see I put too much glue. <laughs> See how it came out here on the other side? That's okay. All right. Remember that dot, dot, dot was be better, I think. Okay. 
And so I have my two sockets. Okay. All right, so next, I'm going to go ahead and just apply the pockets to the actual apron. All right. Now this comes with folds. You can take an iron to it to get the folds out, but for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do that. And position your acorn pockets however you like. We're just gonna, for the sake of this particular video, we're just gonna put them right there. Okay, all right, I think that looks kind of cute. Yeah, I think so. Now, because we're gluing this down, they may not actually allow you to put your pot hands in there. Maybe, slightly, maybe, if you're lucky, but. They just make really cute, cute, cute pockets, don't they, for your apron. And it's a perfect theme for fall, right? It's perfect for fall. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start the gluing down of the acorn pockets. Normally we'd wait a little while for the glues to dry. on the actual acorns we made, but for the sake of time. And I'm just doing it on the edge, on the red. Because remember, it's supposed to be a pocket. and give it time to dry. And then always, always clean up your mess. Okay, so we finished our apron and this is the final product. Isn't that cute? Didn't that come out really nice? Yeah. So, November's Craft Along is available for pickup here at the Palm Springs Public Library after viewing that video on how to make it on Tuesday, November 2nd, while supplies last. I hope you enjoyed joining me in making our acorn pocket apron. Perfect for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye.